Glimpses of Sahaja Yoga in William Blake's Paintings Part 1 Dedicated to Her Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi Founder of Sahaja Yoga Compiled and researched by Carol and Luis Garrido Glimpses of Sahaja Yoga in William Blake's paintings. There are four presentations in this series. This presentation is part one. Table of Contents Chapter One We cannot understand William Blake without Sahaja Yoga. Chapter Two Feeling the power of the Holy Spirit in our hands. Chapter Three Hand above the Sahasrara. Chapter 4 Kundalini, Stars and Angels at the Sahasrara. Chapter 5 Hands feeling the vibrations and giving blessings. Please note all the paintings, sketches, and engravings in this slideshow are by William Blake. Sri Mataji stated that we cannot understand William Blake without Sahaja Yoga. In the paintings of William Blake, there are countless images that fit with the philosophy of Sahaja Yoga. Blake uses symbols from the biblical and Hindu traditions. Christ and his mother are ever present in Blake's paintings, but there are also references to Hindu deities. By using symbols strongly associated with Hinduism, such as chakras and kundalini, Blake is living by his own assertion that all religions are one. Two events with Sri Mataji in person inspired and influenced this present slideshow. In 1984, at her home, Sri Mataji held in her hand a book of paintings by William Blake and showed us the Sahaj Yoga motifs in those paintings. These Sahaj Yoga details included hands feeling the vibrations, hands above the sasrara, the chakras, spirals of the Kundalini, the three channels, the bandan shape, halos, auras, vibrations, and the mother and child. We all felt tremendous vibrations and joy with each and every painting of Blake's that Sri Mataji showed us. Sri Mataji's enthusiasm was contagious. We do not know which book Sri Mataji used on that occasion, but there are many paintings by William Blake which demonstrate the same motifs that Sri Mataji showed us that day. Another day, we went to the Tate Gallery with Sri Mataji to see Blake's paintings there. Sri Mataji studied each and every painting attentively. She kept commenting on how they had such strong vibrations and encouraged us to check the vibrations of every painting like she did with her hands. The four presentations in this series contain a selection of just 200 of William Blake's paintings. However, this small sample demonstrates that there are countless glimpses of Sahaj Yoga in William Blake's paintings. Sri Mataji stated that, Sahaja Yoga is meant for people who have a very large heart where Christ could be adored. That's why William Blake very clearly said that England should be the Jerusalem.
In the Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, verse 26, Jesus says, The Comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. On the right-hand side of this engraving, we see Blake's vision of Sophia, the goddess of wisdom. She is leaning on a book in which the second page announces Christ's promise for the future. And the Father shall give you another comforter. On the following slide, we will see this close up so that you can read that promise in full. If you look at the little book in this enlargement, the page on the right reads, And the Father shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, verses 16 to 17. This painting is entitled Christ Pleading for Mary Magdalene Before the Father by William Blake. Jesus said, When the Counselor comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who goes out from the Father, that one will testify about me. The Woman of Revelation by William Blake The book of Revelation in the Bible tells us in chapter 12, verse 1, A great and wondrous sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. While describing his own vision of the Last Judgment, Blake referred to the woman of Revelation as a woman surrounded by infants, crowned with stars, driven into the wilderness. She has the moon under her feet. In this painting, Blake gave the woman of Revelation golden heart-shaped wings. We can see she is engaged in battle with the great red dragon. Earlier in his career, Blake was commissioned to copy and engrave a figure of the great mother Durga, slaying the demon Mahishasura. At that time, Blake engraved an exact reproduction of an existing Indian design. However, here, Blake appears to be depicting a connection between Sri Durga and the woman of Revelation. Blake envisioned the woman of Revelation surrounded by infants, indicating she is also the Great Mother. Here, Blake paints her in gold, the colour of holiness, because as well as being clothed with the sun, she is the Holy Mother. The heart shape formed by her wings is another reference to the Great Mother of the Heart, Sri Durga. Sri Durga in the Indian scriptures is also described as having a golden complexion. She is a divine mother who fights demons in order to save and redeem her children. She manifested on this earth many times in nine different forms. 
Sri Mataji explains that Sri Durga is one of several incarnations of Sri Mahalakshmi. Here we have an extract from Her Holiness Sri Mataji's lectures. The Comforter is the left side or Mahakali. The second aspect is the counsellor, like an instructor or Maha Saraswati. The third one is the Redeemer, who gives you enlightenment through the Shashumna Nadi, called as Maha Lakshmi. These are the three powers which exist within us as the Holy Spirit. According to Christian theology, the Holy Trinity consists of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit is somewhat indefinite and often symbolized by a dove. On the same subject of the Holy Spirit, Sri Mataji said, Have you heard of any father having a son without a mother? The Holy Spirit has to be the Divine Mother. In this poem of Edward Young, Blake illustrates the following lines. A confluence of ethereal fires poured down by the Deity. See the detail at the top right of this slide. Blake depicts the Deity as a Holy Trinity consisting of God the Father, God the Mother, and God the Son. Blake's illustration indicates that his concept of the Holy Trinity includes the Divine Mother as the Holy Spirit, just as it is in Sahaja Yoga. Chapter 2 is all about feeling the power of the Holy Spirit in our hands. At public meetings, Sri Mataji would ask the seekers of truth, those of you who have felt the cool breeze of the Holy Spirit, please raise your hands. The cool breeze of the Holy Spirit has been described in several religious scriptures worldwide. William Blake's way of saying this is to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Feeling the power of the Holy Spirit in our hands. In Sahaja Yoga, feeling the cool breeze of the Holy Spirit in our hands starts to happen after receiving self-realization. Here Blake illustrates the Angel of Revelation, described in verses 1 to 7, chapter 10 of the Book of Revelation. And the angel which I saw lifted up his hand to heaven. In the days when the seventh angel is ready to blow his trumpet, the mystery of God will be completed. William Blake said, to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour from Auguries of Innocence by William Blake. Feeling the power of the Holy Spirit in our hands. Blake was often commissioned to illustrate the works of other poets. Here, Blake illustrates Night Thoughts by the famous poet Edward Young. 
Blake used a multitude of angels to illustrate these words of Edward Young, a god indeed descends to solve all knots. When deities their voice exalt and louder far than when creation rose, a god indeed descends to solve all knots, to throw full day on darkest scenes of time, to clear, commend, exalt and crown the whole. Angels with hands raised towards the sky, feeling the power of the Holy Spirit. Blake uses this angel motif, with hands raised towards the sky, for very special occasions, such as when a deity descends to earth. Blake uses the same angel motif for Christ's nativity, God creating the universe, and Christ delivering King David out of deep waters. We will see each of these wonderful paintings by William Blake in the following three slides. Christ's Nativity. Blake made this illustration for the poem On the Morning of Christ's Nativity by his beloved John Milton. The poem recounts Christ's incarnation and portrays the overthrow of false knowledge and false prophets. Angels with hands raised towards the sky. Christ's nativity announced to the shepherds. Luke chapter 2 verses 8 to 14. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. The angel of the Lord said, I bring you good tidings of great joy. For unto you is born a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. In this slide, God creating the universe, we see Blake illustrating the book of Job from the Old Testament. Angels with hands raised towards the sky. God creating the universe. This painting is also called When the Morning Stars Sang Together. In Job chapter 38 verses 4 to 7, God challenges Job with a question. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth, while the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy? Sri Mataji used to end her sessions of collective self-realization with the following words. Raise your hands if you felt the cool breeze of the Holy Spirit in your hands or above your head. Finally, in this image, Blake depicts Christ, the central figure, soaring on the wings of the wind, mounted on seven cherubim, with their hands raised towards the sky. The figure at the very bottom is King David. Christ is answering an urgent call from King David. Note again, the angels with hands raised towards the sky. I called to the Lord. Psalm of David number 18. King David delivered out of deep waters. I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I have been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. He mounted the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters.
angels with hands raised towards the sky. As Sri Mataji used to say, raise your hands if you felt the cool breeze of the Holy Spirit. Here Blake is illustrating a line of poetry by Edward Young that reads, while angels shout, what less than miracles from God can flow. Hands raised towards the sky. A Sahaja Yoga meeting of self-realization in India with Sri Mataji in person. Sri Mataji is at the upper center of this photograph as marked. The seekers of truth are raising their hands towards the sky, feeling the cool breeze of the Holy Spirit. In this slide, Blake illustrates a poem entitled The Grave by Robert Blair. Hands raised towards the sky. Christ's ascension. Christ was taken up into heaven. Heaven's portals wide expand to let him in, nor are his friends shut out, as a great prince not for himself alone procures admission, but for his train. It was his royal will that where he is, there should his followers be. Hands raised towards the sky. This is one of Blake's luminous illustrations to Edward Young's Night Thoughts. Pentecost, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon Christ's disciples. In this illustration, we notice the children on the outer edges of the image have their hands raised towards the sky. Children with hands raised towards the sky. Christ baptized by John the Baptist. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child, will never enter it. Hands raised towards the sky to go forth to the great harvest and vintage of the nations. From Milton, a poem by William Blake. This image and the words written at the top of it to go forth to the great harvest and vintage of the nations, come from the very last page of William Blake's great poem, Milton. In the Bible, the great harvest and vintage of the nations is described in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verses 15 to 20. In Blake's image and interpretation, the lady in the center of the picture raises her veil, revealing and announcing the bread and wine of eternity. The two figures by her side personify stems of cereal for the bread. She is a personification of the Kundalini or the wine of eternity. Her outline is in the shape of a chalice. The chalice is a symbol of the Kundalini. The energy of the Kundalini rises through her central channel and expands outwards to the very tips of her hair and above her sahasrara. As the grand finale of his poem, Milton, Blake has replaced the harsh biblical punishment of the harvest and vintage of the nations with the motherly process of kundalini awakening for all the nations. Sri Mataji declared that Blake's Milton is all about Sahaja Yoga.
a Sahaja Yoga meeting of self-realization in the West. Seekers of truth raising their hands towards the sky, feeling the cool breeze of the Holy Spirit. This concludes Chapter 2, Feeling the Power of the Holy Spirit in Our Hands, which Blake illustrated with the hands raised towards the sky motif. In the chapters that follow, we will see Blake's consistent use of other Sahaja Yoga motifs. Chapter 3 Hand Above the Sahasrara Blake created thousands of images. In this chapter, we will see just some of them. Every one of his images can be looked at in the light of Sahaja Yoga. The images are like mantras and work on our subtle system. Most of Blake's images display several angles of interest to Sahaja Yoga. But in this chapter, we are picking out just one aspect. In this case, how often Blake uses the motif of a hand above the Sasrara. Hand above the Sasrara. God answers Job out of the whirlwind. Sri Mataji confirmed that this painting represents the Sahasrara Chakra. God brings Job's awakening to the level of the Sahasrara Chakra. Job and his wife ask for their redemption with folded hands, but their friends are still in the grip of fear. At the Tate Gallery in 1984, looking at the collection of William Blake's paintings, Sri Mataji exclaimed, What tremendous vibrations! Can you feel the vibrations of these paintings? Hand on the Sasrara This is Blake's illustration to a line of poetry by Edward Young. The line reads, Father of Immortality to Man. Blake shows God creating Adam in a physical and a spiritual sense. Christ breathes the breath of the Almighty or the wind of the Holy Spirit on Adam whilst placing his hand on Adam's Sasrara. Sri Mataji teaches that the breath of the Holy Spirit, or the cool breeze of the Holy Spirit, is known as Ruah in the Old Testament, in Hebrew language. In the New Testament, it is known as Numa, and in Sanskrit, it is known as Param Chaitanya, or the all-pervading power of God. Hand above the Sasrara. God's spirit and the breath of the Almighty. I am young, and ye are very old. But it is God's spirit in man and the breath of the Almighty that giveth understanding. The breath of the Almighty is a reference to the cool breeze of the Holy Spirit. The young man, Elu, represents the man of the new age who discards old concepts and is ready to embark on the building of the new Jerusalem. Here Elu prepares Job, the old man, for meeting God in his Sasrara. Hands above the Sasraras Job's vision of Christ God grants self-realization to Job and his wife. Their friends remain unreceptive through fear and guilt. Hands above the Sasraras Job's 
sacrificial fire, or burnt offering. Job achieved his self-realization earlier on when he saw Christ with his own eyes. But he was not totally redeemed until he prayed for his family and friends. The spiritual blessings only reach full circle when shared with the community. Christ Raising Jairus' Daughter The True Baptism of Self-Realization It's not by throwing water over the head that one achieves true baptism. For the true baptism of self-realization, a realized soul places the hand above the sahasrara of the person receiving self-realization. Blake's picture is in accordance with Sahaja Yoga practice. Blake illustrated this poem of Edward Young interpreting the lines, In ancient days, when men were men and not afraid of heaven, rebaptize thee, O purer spirit, a nobler name. Hand above the Sahasrara, the ascent through self-realization. Once again, Blake illustrates a poem by Edward Young, interpreting the lines, When mount we to souls celestial, souls ordained to breathe ambrosial gales. Christ's Circumcision Hand above the Sasrara The Travelling Seeker At this point, the seeker, having come out of the grave, has already discarded his bodily garments. Coming out of a grave or discarding bodily garments, or resurrection, are all symbols of self-realization. But the journey through life is not yet done until we have felt the cool breeze of the Holy Spirit above our heads. Life has now started, and the seeker has his hand above the Sahasrara. Hand above the Sahasrara. Blake's words at the top of this image read, Awake, awake, Jerusalem, O lovely emanation of Albion, awake and overspread all nations as in ancient time. For lo, the night of death is past, and the eternal day appears upon our hills. Awake, Jerusalem, and come away. This travelling seeker, having felt the cool breeze of the Holy Spirit above his head, is now ready to use his enlightened power of action, represented by the sun in his hand, and he is ready to start building the collective spiritual city, the New Jerusalem. A crown above the Sasrara. The Heavenly Dream of Catherine of Aragon. In Shakespeare's play, Henry VIII, Act Four, Scene Two, just before dying, Catherine of Aragon has a vision in a dream. She saw a blessed troop inviting her to a banquet, whose bright faces cast a thousand beams upon her. They promised her eternal happiness and brought her garlands. The man in a green robe at the bottom of the painting is Griffith, Catherine's honest usher and chronicler. Opposite him is Catherine's lady-in-waiting, leaning on a cushion. 
Catherine of Aragon herself is in the center of the picture, on her bed, with angels holding a crown above her head. Hand on the Sasrara Christ in the house of Martha and Mary Mary, the sister of Martha, places her hand on her Sasrara, while Christ extends his hand towards her, giving her vibrations. Above, at the top of the picture, the chandelier sparkles with the light from seven candles, representing the enlightenment of the seven chakras. Christ Raising the Son of the Widow of Nain A dead person was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her. Jesus went up, touched the coffin and said, Young man, get up. The dead man sat up, and began to talk. Hand on the Sasrara Elohim, creating Adam Elohim is one of the names of God in the Old Testament. Here, God is using some clay with the left hand while placing his right hand on the Sasrara of Adam. The Awakening of the Soul God Creating Adam From Blake's self-illustrated book, There Is No Natural Religion This looks just like a Sahaja Yoga workshop. Sabrina, the nymph of the River Severn, disenchants the young innocent lady. The young innocent lady Restored to her parents. The creation of Eve. Chapter 4 Kundalini, Stars and Angels Above the Sahasrara In the photograph, notice the miraculous light above the Sahasrara of Her Holiness Srimataji. Kundalini on the Sahasrara On the head of this aged figure of time, Notice the kundalini in the shape of a spiral. Again, Blake is illustrating Night Thoughts by Edward Young. Kundalini above the Sahasrara, like tongues of flame. During the Pentecost, the Holy Spirit manifested to Christ's disciples as tongues of flame above their heads. The Recording Angel
Ode for Music. The Travelling Seeker A personification of the constellation of Orion Star above the Sasrara. On the right of this picture, Blake painted the Archangel St. Michael with a star or a sacred flower above his Sasrara. This watercolour is from Blake's Comus illustrations. Star above the Sasrara. Notice the star above the Sasrara of the Bard. When the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. The Great Sovereign sent ten thousand worlds to tell us he resides above them all. The Voyage of the Soul Angel Above the Sasrara Here Blake illustrates Edward Young's line of poetry that reads The Birth of Endless Joy The person sitting on the ground is withdrawn in inner contemplation. All we can see is the top of the head, the Sasrara, with the joyful angel above it. The overall shape of the person is of a Shiva Lingam, which is an abstract representation of Sri Shiva, the Hindu deity who meditates in silent joy. Peaceful Rest The joy and peace of reading the Holy Scriptures. From Songs of Innocence by William Blake Piping down the valleys wild, piping songs of pleasant glee, on a cloud I saw a child, and he laughing said to me, Pipe a song about a lamb. Chapter 5 Hands Feeling the Vibrations and Giving Blessings Hands feeling the vibrations. Christ returns to his mother. The mother of Christ is placed on a pedestal and Christ is shown with his hands out as if feeling the vibrations from his mother. Hands 
hands feeling the vibrations. The Virgin and Child in Egypt. They left for Egypt, where they stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet. Out of Egypt I called my son. Hands feeling the vibrations. The weeping Madonna and child. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel. And a sword will pierce your own soul too. The Divine Touch Healing the Soul, Disease and Guilt Moses holding the tablets of the law. A sketch by Blake, owned by the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. Hands feeling the vibrations. Infant joy. The little angel puts her hands out towards the baby to feel the vibrations. Then she asks the baby, What shall I call thee? The baby replies, Joy is my name, sweet joy before thee. From Blake's Songs of Innocence and Experience The Archangel Revealing the Gospel to St. Matthew Hands feeling the vibrations. Note, the seeker kneeling down is feeling the vibrations coming from the book. Blake's illustration goes with the following words by Edward Young. While angels shout, what less than miracles from God can flow? A detail of Virgil blessing Dante. Dante and Virgil come across Bocca degli Abati, who had been condemned to reside in a frozen lake. Hands giving blessings. These are details from one of Blake's illustrations to Dante's Divine Comedy. Blake's watercolour is entitled Beatrice in the Car. On the left is Beatrice, and to the right is Dante. Sri Mataji commented on this painting and explained that Beatrice is a representation of the seeker's individual Kundalini and that Dante represents the seeker of truth. Note, Beatrice is wearing a crown while giving blessings with her hands. Dante, the seeker, has his hands outstretched, receiving vibrations. A traditional hand gesture of an Indian guru giving blessings. On the right, we see the disciple leaning on a tree in a state of despair and depression. The guru arrives on the left and his compassion goes into action. 
He adopts a classical hand gesture typical of Sahaj Yoga and Hindu tradition. With one hand raised, he gives blessings, while the other hand, directed towards the earth, removes the disciples' negativity and problems. Hand giving blessings. Christ's entry into Jerusalem. As they approached Jerusalem, the disciples brought a donkey and her colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from trees and spread them on the road. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hands giving blessings. Christ's transfiguration with Moses and Elijah. Up in the mountains with Peter, James and John, Jesus was transfigured. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes as white as the light. Moses and Elijah appeared. A voice from the cloud said, This is my son, whom I love. The disciples heard this, and they fell face down to the ground. Hands giving blessings. Lord Jesus Christ and Her Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi giving blessings. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Gospel of St. John, Chapter 1, Verse 1. End of part one of Glimpses of Sahaj Yoga in William Blake's paintings. This series comes in four parts. Part two includes, among other topics, William Blake's paintings showing chakras, spirals and kundalini, plus the Lambeth prophecies.